we're going to be spending the next 42 hours aboard the Amtrak sleeper train, the Empire Builder. We're going to be riding across the country from Chicago to Washington State in our own private room with tasty meals, beautiful views, and more. So let's go explore the train, get comfy, and all get aboard. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rod. I'll be conducted this evening. I'd like to welcome you aboard Amtrak train number seven. This is the Empire Builder. check out this room so first off nice big window I got really sticky curtains oh my they need some WD-40 but we have curtains you can close out the window we also have the fold-out table kind of like an airplane it's a nice size you can have a meal here have a computer here something like that this time we have two seats and up top overhead we also have 
a bed that you pull down by pulling this lever. All right. And it's got some blankets on it. Looks like it has a cushion pad. So this thing can sleep two people. You got the top bunk and then the bottom one can convert into a bed as well. There's also a little net and a little baggie here for some storage. But keep in mind if you have the top bunk down, you cannot stand up and it is hard so you will smash your head. <laughs> You can also use this top bunk for just storage of your own bags too. I'm going to go ahead and close this up. We got a couple coat hooks. I saw this one here and this one I'm using for my coat and jacket. There's also a tiny little closet. It's got a couple hangers, got some towels. They gave me some bottles of water and it's a very small little closet. So I just put my big orange fluffy jacket in there and that's pretty much all you're going to fit in there. We got some lights on the ceiling. There's also like an airplane type light here and you can adjust it. <laughs> Looks like a couple hooks for some like hangers or something. We also have a nice vent blowing out some nice cool air and I think this can adjust the angle of it. It looks like this time instead of actual buttons, it's more of like a capacitance button. You got the hold the call button, so you got the ceiling light, you can turn it off, and you got the night light. There's also a touch light for this another kind of airplane light where you can adjust it wherever you'd like. And to the left of this seat, we have this little kind of steps to storage area. This is the step that you use if you want to get up on the top bunk, if you can't just kind of throw yourself up there. But I'm just using it as like camera and bag storage. Underneath the steps last little storage area. There's also a little cubby hole right here It does look like it has a little bit of crumblies inside of it There's also a small little mirror right here on the other side. We have a full-size 120 volt AC plug We have a temperature control and then we have another touch light right here Very cool It came with some nice fluffy pillows and some like headrests as well and underneath both of the seats there is a little bit of storage and it looks like I got a little piece of paper. There's also a small little trash can right here which is nice. Alright let's see if we can open up this bed. I believe you push this, you pull this. This is gonna be really nice. Definitely enough room for me to lay out completely. My feet aren't hitting the wall, my head isn't hitting the wall. It's nice and comfy. Something I did find funny is the top of the seats, <laughs> they're stuck on the wall. Thought they'd go down with the bed, but nope, they're just there. <laughs> this is the room at, and it's a lot smaller than the bedroom. I'd say maybe about half the size of it. There's no bathroom and shower in this unit, but there is in the hallway, and I, there's a shower downstairs. It's definitely more than enough room. You two people, you could do it, but you're definitely going to want to be close with them because once this is folded out, they either have to be up there or sharing this bed with you. I wouldn't recommend this for three people. It's a little bit crowded for that. It's honestly really nice to just relax and lay down and watch the scenery go by.
temperature though. It can snow one day and be all frozen and about three days later it's all good. It's around 10 o'clock right now. I'm just relaxing. I had a really nice dinner. I got my computer just about to watch some YouTube. And now that it's finally dark, we can test out the night light. Very cool. It's like a blue avatar glow. <laughs> Not very bright. Doesn't really light up much of anything, but it looks pleasing. Once the bed's fully made, there's really not a whole lot of room for anything else. I pretty much have my water down there and my shoes, and I could stand there if I'm feeling lucky. Other than that, it's just pretty much the size of my body laying down. But it's super comfy, got a really nice view outside. One thing you have to be aware of is there is no Wi-Fi, so I am using my phone as a hotspot. Hanged up my clothes, I got all my gear over here to the side of me, hopefully it doesn't fall on my head. Anyways, I'm just gonna relax, catch some good sleep, and I'll see you in the morning because we're gonna have some breakfast. slept really good actually it was really nice and comfy and we're not too close to the cab up front so it wasn't too loud it's about 7 16 in the morning let's go ahead and get some breakfast looks like the other side has a nice view pretty quick.
hek gewoon. Oh, it's nice and quiet. We just got back from breakfast and breakfast was really good. Uh, I also walked the length of the train. There's a bunch of, I guess, normal passenger carts and there's a couple dining areas. Sadly, there's no viewing cart. And it's funny, on the other end of the train, there is another kind of copy of another sleeper train. Pretty sure at one point, uh, two different cabs break off and take the train into two different directions. I think when we're close to Washington. It's a beautiful day. Really nice scenery, nice flat lands. My ears popped a bit. We must be elevating. And yeah, just had some really nice French toast. Can't complain. like there's just an endless amount of those hay bales. That one's mine. We've been stopped here for maybe 20 minutes. I think waiting for that train to pass. Let's go get some lunch. Okay, this works for me. I think I should get my veggies in. <laughs> to Chicago. Yeah. So it's basically the whole world traversing. Yeah. <laughs> Nineteen thirties. The sun's just peeking over there. Beautiful looking sunset.
Let there be light. Just got back from dinner and it was really good. I ended up getting the salad again. The sun went down about an hour ago. Just watching a movie. I'm watching Snowpiercer. I feel like it's a fitting movie to watch one on a train. And I'm just going to enjoy the night in my own little tiny private room. Let's go take a shower. after my cold shower. I feel nice and clean. I'm tired. Got all the blinds closed. The room's all closed up. It's nice and cozy. And I'm about to catch some sleep because in the morning we're going to have ourselves some breakfast and then we get off at our stop at Everett, Washington. So get some good sleep and I'll see you then. starting to light up the sky. We we'll stopped here for a minute. I think I'm gonna go get some breakfast in a minute. Coffee. No top today. It's very pretty here. Got mountains, these little towns. Very cool. Just finished packing up all my gear. We're just rolling through the middle of some mountains. It's absolutely beautiful out. Got my little buddy here. And I got myself about under two hours left on the train before I get off on my stop. We broke the train from Chicago all the way down. We're going to Everett, Washington right here. So real close to the end of the line. And we're just
riders are rolling through the mountains. It's a beautiful day. I can't get over how beautiful it is. Got a stream down there, the mountains up there. Bunch of trees everywhere, beautiful blue sky. Such a nice day. And we're in a tunnel. I know one of these tunnels is supposed to be like eight minutes we're in here. I think we see some light. from the dining car as you can tell we've just emerged from the cascade tunnel we just popped out of the tunnel everything looks like it's covered in a little bit more snow and the sky went from blue to foggy i guess the mountain must be trapping some clouds very interesting feels like another day Literally in the middle of nowhere, in some forest and mountains. It's absolutely beautiful outside. I got under an hour left on the train till we get to Everett. Then I gotta hop on a bus. But it's beautiful. This is definitely my favorite part of the ride, the scenery so far. It's absolutely beautiful. The trees are massive. They're so tall. See the top. Could you imagine just having a mountain in your backyard? That'd be pretty cool. Those are clouds. <laughs> They're so low to the ground. That's wild. About 10 minutes till my stop. I'm all prepared wearing my coat. And soon we'll be on a bus to Bellingham. It's so beautiful this state. I never realized it. Never been over here. Well, I guess I'm just gonna relax for a couple minutes before I get off the train. Thanks for the stay room. It's been real. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. You too. It's been real, train. Thanks for the ride. Let's go catch a bus. We're on the one o'clock to Bellingham. Nice views. All right, bus bay A1. Thanks, bus. Oh, yeah.
Well, here we are. We're in Bellingham, Washington. I just got in the hotel. I took the sleeper train to get to Everett, and then I took a bus transfer to get from Everett to Bellingham. And now we're in our hotel, we're relaxing. The train ride was fantastic. The food was much better than the Texas Eagle. It was actually like made in a kitchen. And it was just a lot of fun. The room at was perfect for just laying down and getting some rest, especially with such a long journey. But it was beautiful. And my favorite part was definitely going through Washington. Right after we exited that tunnel, it was beautiful with all the mountains and everything. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and the journey with me. And I hope you come on my next journey, which happens to be tomorrow, as we take a ferry from Bellingham, Washington to Ketchikan, Alaska. It's going to be like two nights on a ferry. Should be pretty cool. So I'll see you then.